cruising is back. I've just returned from two cruises. You're probably going on one very soon. The Brisbane International Cruise Terminal is open and all is looking good in the world. I'm Adrian, the Cruise and Travel Guy. As always, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. As I've just mentioned, I've just returned home from two cruises on board Pacific Explorer, and I can't tell you how incredible it was to once again board a ship. I kind of can, you can watch my vlogs on my channel, but I have to say that the moment was just amazing. Although there was something really surreal about it, and in a weird, strange way, it felt like no time had passed at all even though I have proof that it did because I made about a hundred cruise news videos explaining why it wasn't coming back and as depressing as that was, it's finally back. Back to cruise news though, and although we are of course excited that cruising is back, it's not all smooth sailing around the world. Starting with some good news though, Brisbane finally opened its brand new international cruise terminal last week with the Pacific Explorer calling in on June 2nd and marking the official opening as she docked at the terminal. You can watch a tour of the terminal on my channel. To mark the occasion, dignitaries were in attendance, including P&O and Carnival Australia President Marguerite Fitzgerald, who I was fortunate enough to get a photo with, and Queensland State Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk. The opening comes almost five years after construction began, and around two years after construction finished. It's expected that the new terminal will help to attract the world's newest and largest ships to the region. Coral Princess has already docked at the port, and she's actually undertaking two test cruises exclusively with Carnival employees, I asked. And she's doing that on June 9th and June 11th, with guest services beginning on June 16th. Around the world, cruise shortages continue to wreak havoc on the cruise industry though, with a multitude of cruise lines having to cancel or suspend voyages or reduce passenger numbers accordingly. The most recent victim is Virgin Voyages. Overnight, the cruise line announced that Resilient Ladies' launch has been delayed until May 2023. Guests affected by the cancellation are being offered a very generous 200% future cruise credit plus a free cruise in 2022 on another of the line's ships. Of course, they also have the choice of a refund. Norwegian Cruise Line's Pride of America has had to reduce the number of passengers on its sailings to contend with cruise shortages, and Carnival have already limited the number of dining options across its fleet in an attempt to deal with the cruise shortages as well. Locally, p Australia seem to have avoided these issues so far, and we hope that continues. Long, long ago, I mentioned that Carnival Australia had committed to bringing a second ship to the Australian market to replace the much-loved Carnival Spirit. The new ship is set to be homeported in Brisbane, and we were promised more information around the middle of the year, but as yet, we don't know what ship that will be. This week, though, Carnival announced that not only is the ship still coming, but that it will begin guest services before the end of this year. We're still, of course, waiting to find out what ship that will be, but this news should help quell the thirst of Carnival lovers around Australia. And in more exciting news, family favourite Disney Cruise Line have made it very clear that they will be basing a ship in Australia in the future. The growth of their fleet from four ships to six over the next couple of years will mean that the cruise line can expand into the lucrative Australian market. There's really nothing quite like the cruise line and Disney fanatics and families alike will no doubt jump at the chance to experience a Disney product so close to home. p Australia this week also announced that its 5th of September voyage that was due to be a South Pacific Pacific Islands cruise was being switched to a Queensland coastal cruise due to uncertainty in the region. The new voyage will have stops in Morton Island, Early Beach and Cairns. Affected guests can remain on the cruise or cancel their booking for a full refund. And finally, according to the Cruise Ships in Service report put together by Cruise Industry News, there are 365 cruise ships set to be plying the world's waters this month. Royal Caribbean, Carnival and Norwegian Cruise Line are now offering cruises across their entire respective fleets. Well that's it for this week's cruise news update. We have much more positive news coming which is fantastic and I look forward to bringing you more of that. I'll also be bringing you more of my vlog installments from my Pacific Explorer cruise. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. And if you'd like to give me a follow on Facebook and Instagram, you can do that at The Cruise and Travel Guy. And if you are looking at booking a cruise, you can head to my website, thecruiseandtravelguy.com.au. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Brisbane opened its brand new international cruise terminal this week, last week. Starting with some good news though, Brisbane... Starting with some good news though, Brisbane finally opened its brand new international cruise terminal this week. Oh.